What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we have frostbite hauler truck on the lift. We're gonna be working on the exhaust system today. This is my 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins long bed crew cab 4x4 and we're gonna be putting five inch exhaust from the turbo back. The truck is currently fully deleted and it's running the stock four inch piping from the turbo back. So we're gonna be ditching that going with a complete turbo back five inch kit from Yikatu, and it should be a pretty straightforward swap so let's get to it all right so real quick this is the box that the entire system came in pretty big box the shipping company did beat it up pretty bad but luckily everything was here and nothing fell out of the box now this is the complete system laid out this is going to be the tailpipe section and again, this is all five inch stainless steel piping. They supply you with clamps, hardware, all the pipe sections, pretty straightforward. Everything looks really nice. None of the pipes were beat up. This is gonna be the turbo down pipe right here. And again, five inch full kit all the way back to the tailpipe for my long bed. This kit's supposed to fit the 13 to 18 Ram 2500s and 3500s. Other thing I wanna go over real quick, they do send you a piece of paper in here with some instructions showing you how everything lays out. A little bit of instructions on how to remove the old system and install the new system, along with if you have a mega cab, crew cab, regular cab, so forth. Um, if you have any of the shorter trucks, uh, you may have to shorten some of the piping. Um, it just depends. I feel like since we have the long bed uh, crew cab, I don't think we're gonna have to cut anything, I would imagine, so we will see. So we're gonna raise up the truck real quick, get the old system unbolted, and we will lay it next to the new Yikatu five inch exhaust kit. So let's get this big boy up in the air and start taking off some old four inch exhaust pipe. All right, before we start with the new system, let's get a sound comparison of before and after. So this is the factory four inch exhaust system turbo back that's fully deleted on my truck. So let's hear what it sounds like. So that was the factory four inch turbo back fully deleted exhaust sound on my crew cab long bed so stay tuned we're going to install this five inch kit real quick and it'll basically be a complete swap from four inch to five inch that's all we're changing so let's see what it sounds like let's get it done all right real quick underneath the truck i want to point out a few things that i would do before you get started um, one would be all of the clamps on the factory system. I would get under here with some WD-40 or some PB blaster and spray all of the bolts and nuts that you can see with some sort of penetrating oil before you start this. Um, and maybe even let it sit for about 30 minutes or so before you get started. Also, another good thing to spray will be all of the exhaust hangers, all these rubber mounts. Try to spray them with some penetrating oil on the little post that way the exhaust will slide out a lot easier um, just a thought beforehand so let's get it out all right guys we got the old exhaust out as you can see we have it laid next to the new five inch turbo back exhaust definitely still pretty big difference between four and five inch that's for sure four inch factory piping and five inch yika two turbo back exhaust so let's check it out looks like everything's pretty much about the same um, so we're gonna start bolting up the new 
Yika 2 exhaust. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we have ran into one issue so far. So this is the factory downpipe right here. This is the new Yika 2 downpipe for the five inch kit. Um, what we ran into is the factory flange is the, the factory flange to the turbo is pretty much like a flat flange. Um, and right here on the new pipe, it's kind of set up more for like a donut um, type ball and swivel kind of deal. It's not really flat. So what we're running into is when we try to clamp it to the turbo, it's still loose because there's not enough material um, to get inside the clamp very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to take some pliers or a hammer and we're going to try to flatten out this flange a little bit more. Um, that way, it, in theory, it kind of lengthens it or makes it a little bit more flat. That way our clamp uh, we'll actually get a hold of it and be able to tighten everything down. So we're going to give that a whirl and see how that goes, but here we go. All right, so what we're doing is we're getting some pliers and I'm just bending this flange down a little bit more, like so. And we're just kind of more or less stretching that flange out and making it a little bit flatter so the factory band will get a hold of it. Spin it around a little bit. again I'm not you know sometimes with aftermarket parts they don't fit exactly perfect but small thing to have to do right here not a big deal all right now that we took the pliers and we also used a hammer to kind of flatten out this flange a little bit more you can see now that we put it up to the factory downpipe it is literally almost the identical diameter all the way around um, and nice and flat so that should work we should be able to get the clamp to tighten up on it now um, so small little issue there not a big deal um, just took you know probably about five minutes to get this flange shaped the way that it needs to be let's go get this downpipe installed all right guys as you can see we got the downpipe and clamp up there uh, we got a pretty snug uh, we are going to finish installing the rest of the pipes before we tighten that all the way down. Uh, but now that we got the flange flattened out like it needs to be, it fits perfectly. And show you the, that is the five inch down pipe right there. And let me come over here. Hang on, take the, there we go. It's kind of dark under this lift but that's the downpipe and so far everything is fitting up really nice um, other than that flange we had to uh, negotiate around and get it on the right shape but other than that we got a big five inch pipe and we are going to move on to the next pipe installation here and we got it right here this one's the longer one and it's just going to slide right over and clamp on so here we go all right, guys, we got the Yaka 2 5 inch turbo bag exhaust fully installed. All clamped on, all the way back. And that is a lot of pipe, especially for a long bed. But there you can see a clamp there, another clamp, clamp, and another clamp. And I did a little bit of spot welding myself on a few of them just to make sure they don't move. And we've got a clamp here and a couple spot welds for the tailpipe. Um, removing the spare tire carrier does help uh, give you more room to fit the axle piece in. Um, so keep in mind you might want to do that. That does help get it in. Tailpipe right here. And we did have to cut a small section of pipe off of the turbo downpipe. Uh, we had to cut off about, I want to say about five inches. Um, that way the mid pipe right here, it has two hangers on it. Um, that way the hangers would line up. And in, an, in the instructions, it does say, um, depending on models of trucks, you may have to cut some of the pipe. 
but there was definitely more than enough pipe for my long bed crew cab and there's the piece of pipe that we cut off um, again probably about five inches or so and that was it other than that everything bolted up so we're about to fire this thing up and see what it sounds like now with five inch turbo back exhaust so here we go all right this is the yuka 2 five inch turbo back exhaust fully deleted ram truck Mopar fan there you go my 2017 Ram 2500 Cummins now has five inch turbo back exhaust definitely sounds a lot beefier than the four inch stock pipe that's for sure I didn't think it was gonna make a huge difference but it definitely makes a big difference so all in all the exhaust kit fit pretty well uh, we did have to modify that turbo flange just a little bit because it wasn't quite flat enough not a big deal um, we got that straightened out and then we had to take about five inches of pipe off of the turbo down pipe um, off the end of it just so that everything would line up properly and that's pretty normal for the kit um, it does say you might have to trim it depending on model of vehicles other than that it fits it works it sounds great and for the price you can't beat it it's definitely a bargain for the buck so if you're into diesel stuff stay tuned we're going to be installing a really cool muffler on the truck as well very soon it's on the way i'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag yet but let's just say there's not a lot of people that even knows about them let alone running them and we're gonna put one on frostbite holler so stay tuned as always stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on the next one